Yo guys, what's up? Episode 49 of Beasts of the Wild starts with a direct spawn kill on the blue Kua. That's a bird. It scared me. And if you know that the next victim is a spear-nosed snake, you also know that we are still in Madagascar. On the previous episode, I introduced you to half of the Madagascar lemur gangs. Today, it's time to do the other half, starting with the black lemur. Pretty stuck to his environment here in the tropical forests in the north. The black lemur crime family is the only gang up north. So there are no major incidents here. They are pretty racist. Even though their females are not black, they have reddish brown fur and a black and white face. So it goes without saying that this family is mainly involved in prostitution. And I guess we can hold grenades for three seconds now. So the black lemur has the kingdom all to himself. This crime family is lucky. Because others need to share their grounds and cooperate. Sometimes successfully, sometimes with bloodshed as the outcome. Sad. A victory and 6v1. After that, we go to the east side of Gascar to meet one of the local partners, the Indri. Yes, it's a lemur, but he's not bragging about it. He keeps to himself and works out. He is the largest of all lemurs. So that means that he is also the strongest and the fastest. And because of his solid diet of fruits and leaves, his body mass index is near perfect. He has a black and white coat, by the way. Guess I spilled a bit of red on it. Sorry, bro. Sadly, a loss, but 6 VO. More lemurs to come, but also some respect for the other lesser inhabitants of Madagascar. Like the chameleon, did you know that this island is the home of 75 different species? There are 150 species in the entire world. The Fanaloka, now that's an interesting kitty, because it's a medium-sized cat, a carnivore. Higher on the food chain than the fossa, but luckily for the fossa, the Fanaloka only lives in the east. So when it comes down to the food chain, the Nile Croc is the king, the Fanaloka is second in command, and third place goes to the fossa. And meet another one that looks funny, the Tenrec, a combination of the Hedgehog and the Pygmy Shrew. They have over 30 different species here in Madagascar. They look like Pokemon, I'm telling you. 10VO. Back to our gangs, because this one is a very driven by imperialism. The black and white roughed lemur and never call it anything else. He has a crime family with educated members, doctors, lawyers, mayors, bank executives, very rich. They are closely related to the Red Ruft lemur, but the Red Rufts have their own peninsula over here in the east. The Black and White Rufts, they rule the coast of the east side, and they breakdance. A nice victory, and 4VO. This is going great. Three more gangs to go. One that is not out to get more belongings is the I.I. Looks like a bat-eared red teeth, huge eyed lemur with a very large middle finger. Reminds me of Sagan Mad Raj. They live in rainforests all over the place, they're nocturnal and the local people tend to kill them sometimes because they believe that the eye eye brings them bad luck just like a black cat. And you know what? I guess I have to believe them as well. 4v1. Yeah, that's no 18 KD today. What a bummer. So we have two gangs left over on the west side of Madagascar. They listen to Tupac music. One of them is the red-fronted brown lemur. Yes, I know. Believe me, I know. The red-fronted brown lemur. Apparently it gets by just eating bark. Bark from a tree. And I gotta say, that is a nice and cheap and economical way for a Christmas dinner. Just chop down a tree and start eating. Plenty to go around. They will never go hungry, so they are mainly interested in a concept wrapped around wholesome food, nutritious diets, cooking programs. They have their own TV network, but the weasel lemur, that is a bastard. He is the most unwanted of all the lemur crime families. Nobody wants to talk to him. He's a real fucking backstabber. A snitch a rat. At least a chopper brought him down. But this one is the reason why the police are so successful apprehending local crime bosses and solving murders because they got their intel from the weasel lemur. And when I asked him about his habits, he said, forget about it. So I showed him 
what I do to snitches and tube assist customers. And I also sedated one specimen for the zoo, life behind bars rat. And if you say rat you see the narrow striped mongoose, a far nephew of the fossa who roams the west side. They all have their little turf, but still, all of them need to bow down for the real apex predator, the Nile crocodile. And of course, Fintroll 1984. A last second equalizer from me and a teammate sealing the final victory. 13 v 1. Only two teammates remained in this match. So much for the wonderful island of Madagascar. 17.8 KD. See you on the next one guys. Peace.